guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. If you're new here, my name is Todd. Sassy's over there feeding the dogs. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. So tonight, and it's Saturday night, tonight we're gonna do a really simple but tasty smash burger, guys. We're gonna use the Uncle Steve Shake Spicy R. We're gonna use Tostitos cheese, so there's no brain power required. We're gonna to toast up those buns with some Japanese mayo, onions, and we're gonna smash it like you should be smashing our subscribe button right now, folks. So let's get started. All right, guys, there's not a whole lot of mystery behind making a good smash burger, guys. Start with a good old 80 20 beef, 20% fat, which is best stuff fat means flavor and the other 80 percent is uh, you know that red stuff so we're going to fire off the weber charcoal grill and we're going to use some kingsford ridge charcoal did i say royal oak uh ridge you know i don't know if yeah there you go ridge and we're gonna do some smash burgers and we're gonna do it right guys let's go all right guys check this out pretty simple here we're gonna use the weber paraffin wax cubes. I like to use two of them and I just stick them on top of each other kind of like that right there. No fuss, no muss. They have zero taste guys. No aftertaste. No nasty additives. You're going to taste it all guys. Then I take my chimney, set it right down on top. Let the magic happen. In about 20 minutes we'll be ready to go. Hey baby. Hi. What you making for me? Oh, rum and coke. Rum and coke? Yeah, you smell like shrimp. Shut up, I don't. Well, that's not a nice thing to say. Well, you smell like shrimp. I just, I made a cocktail with um, baked shrimp and lobster. She, she did. She made a shrimp cocktail that tasted really good, you know. Hope you like but it makes you taste like shrimp. I mean, smell like shrimp. I, I do not smell like shrimp. That's not How's funny. that taste, babe? Let me see. No, I can't drink that. I don't even like that. This is it. my secret ingredient right here. Mmm. <laughs> All right, that's good. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, and you smell like charcoal. Hey. <laughs> I don't smell like charcoal. I smell like man. Okay, let's, let's go outside and check out okay, charcoal. That, that says it all. Right, guys I'm not sure if you guys have been paying attention to our other channel three days away uh, it's our other channel where we are uh, posting some of the DIY home improvement travel vlog stuff uh, you know this is all about barbecue here guys we want to keep to the point here but I want to show you what's been uh, keeping us so busy lately so our backyard is a uh, construction zone and uh, you can see here we're we got a flying saucer. Actually, um, this is for an above ground pool, guys. Um, you can see some of the drainage we got going on here just to kind of protect all this uh, landscaping we're doing. But uh, we got a 20 foot pole getting ready to go in here. Uh, Intex 20 foot pole, uh, 48 foot high. Um, it's gonna have a sand filter. Um, hey, we're putting our money and our time into prep because uh, it's a cheap pool but we want longevity, so it's all about site preparation, guys. Um, you can see where our grass ends right here. Gotta have some grass for the dogs, got for landmines. And of course, there's my yoder up under there. Still uh, the same yoder. Um, but anyway, guys, this is uh, why we've been uh, not uh, producing videos too much lately. Anyway, guys, so that's what's been uh, taking a lot of our time lately. Um, we don't mean to be ignoring our channel here. My swimming pool. But yeah, we're going to have a swimming pool, guys. Because, you know, if global warming is going to happen, might as well embrace it. Go get yourself a pool or jacuzzi or whatever <laughs> and just uh, go with the flow, man. There's nothing we can do about it. And But you can buy a pool. They're cheap. So if you guys want to see our... Uh, playlist on the uh, above ground pool installation go on over to three days away link is down in the description uh, I think we're on part three uh, part two maybe um, site preparation all that stuff like that 
we're getting pretty close to actually erecting it and setting it up and then filling it so that's gonna be a lot of fun guys uh, and then you can see videos of like me without my shirt on swimming in the pool so I think that should be pretty cool Baby, let me see the back of your shirt that's a badass shirt where'd you get that you got it for me <laughs> no you're lucky I let you wear it that's a cool shirt <laughs> hey guys this video wouldn't be possible without uncle steve here and we got his spicier uncle steve shake go get you some we're gonna shake this on to the burgers after we smash them we don't need salt and pepper because it's already in here guys plus a little bit more which is called texas love so guys get you some link down in the description let's get it Toasted bun with Japanese mayo on it. I don't gotta put anything down on there other than, hey, why not? Some romaine lettuce. And I like the greeny part, so I'm just gonna do a little bed right there, smash it down. First burger, bam. A little bit of cheese. And maybe a lot of cheese. Second patty. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of cheese, why not, right? And the third patty, why not? Mm, there we go, guys. A little bit of cheese on there. There we go. And a few onions. Because we all love onions, right? Yeah. There we go, guys. Top, topped off by the same bun. Yo guys. All right, guys. This is a quick but delicious burger, man. Mm. So good, guys. So good. You know, if you haven't tried the smash burger yet, all those little nooks and crannies and crevices get fried and grilled. That char. That's where the flavor is, guys. That's why you use 20% fat. It is just flavor. Oh, guys, that's a good starting off point. Guys, add or subtract whatever you want. But definitely, you got to smash that burger, guys. Hope you liked the video. Please stick around if you would. Check out our other over 200 videos that we have. And um, if you don't mind, subscribing. Like this video, hit the thumbs up, and hit your notifications so you don't miss a thing, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.